direction. We don't have just a bullhorn. Yes, yes, we have a phone, yes. so we can have talk and we can yes. we can communicate. Where do you learn this? Is this you learn in your family that you learn about giving, or something that uh, came naturally to you? Or? It's a great question. Um, I think my family has been very giving mm -hmm. all along. My my grandfather uh, was a candy salesman, but his business was to get people to buy more candy at big stores and. The way I saw him do this was he was a friend, mm -hmm. and he would tell jokes, and he would ask about their daughter, mm -hmm. and he would say, you know, it's been, you look great since the last time I saw you. Mm -hmm. And I never ever heard him say, you should buy this candy, wow. and they would buy the candy. Wow. And so, I, I mean, that's an early stage. And then, you know, my, my dad was a very hard worker, my mom was a very hard worker, uh, and are hard workers. And I would say that by understanding when you, when you don't work blindly, but you work with passion, mm -hmm then you have the you can afford to give and I and, and, and what we both know is that when you have nothing it's hard to give but there's always something you can give time you can give support you can give encouragement and then when you can you can give money and other support in your expertise to grow a business so I, I think the power of giving is absolutely important wow so you talk about the ethos pathos and logos ethos is a trust building yeah. the pathos is the relationship in which your grandfather did in this selling candies and then the log is the logic comes later, right? Right. People go to logic too quickly and then miss out the trust which your book talked about and the relationship which your father and grandfather talked about in their, in their lives, right? Or, or there's a logic that underlies where I spend my time yes. uh, earning trust and giving. Yes. Uh, because, you know, uh, they say don't bark up the wrong tree. I, you know, I, I say that if, if you work with communities that matter to you and you, you tend, like a farm, you, you remove weeds, you remove the plants that aren't yielding, yes. um, you could do this in your relationship building in a, in a, in a kind way yes. and actually work with the people who you think will help you build business and the people that you can help. Because a community is two things. Community is this group of people who support each other and then it's a community that can sustain from each other. Yes. You know, uh, just like we need ant we need insects to keep trees healthy. It's the same thing. We need, uh, you know, I I'm an insect helping other trees. So, Chris, you know, you're such a busy man. How do you find time to be able to balance everything? You know, in terms of and to give a lot. I think giving, a, in a way, becomes an advertisement in itself. And if, if business part of business is promoting and advertising, why not do it in a totally opposite way? Why not give? Uh, because the word of your giving is far more powerful. Than, you know, we, we hear people talk about how great they are all the time. We, we hear people talk about themselves about how great they are all the time. That's not my style. Wow. I think it's much better that we if we give, then the word comes around that we give. Yeah. Amazing. So we want to honor you for what you do. You really are uh, living our message of the power of giving. And I think, you know, if I can sum up, you're, you're more interested in other people's richness than your own richness. I think and so. by, by valuing other people's richness, your richness just kind of, you know, blooms and, and, and flowers and becomes a, a great beacon of, uh, uh, of uh, learning. If we feed everyone else, there will always be food at the table for us. Wow. Great. Phenomenal. Thank you so much, Chris. I appreciate your time and, uh, and uh, your wonderful work. Keep it up. Thank you. And uh, indirectly, you're promoting our message of power of giving. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great.